Hey guys, welcome back to Twilight Princess HD. We're gonna get the rest of these light orbs real quick and continue on with the story. We're about done now. Well, the only light you got on the map is this house here, so hopefully the rest of them are in here. That would be convenient. I know, I'm hoping so. We had a couple recording errors right in this area and had to restart. Because we're dedicated to showing you guys the entire game. Or I would have just skipped this. Plus, this is a pretty cool scene. It's got the whole crowd here. It's got Sacagawea, or Pocahontas, as bullets is wanting to call him. That's uh, a him. I think um, it's a her, definitely. It's a Pocahontas. It, it has a muscular build. and A, it's, a lot of Indians do. I mean, but she kind of looks females generally, Females generally have breasts. Does that person have breasts? Well, you can't really tell. Well, wait for him to stand up. And not all women have very noticeable breasts. I'm just saying that in video games, women generally have noticeable breasts. Because that's the standard. Make the women as voluptuous as possible, no matter how offensive or stereotypical it may be. That way there's no sign. Look, this dude has bigger <laughs> breasts than that dude. Okay. Look, look at his mustache. <laughs> oh, the snot stash? Yeah, it's coming straight from his nostrils. Look at that angry expression on his is face. Is that a patch of hair on, on his uh, lower lip? Or I think it's that, just darker. It's just shaded. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks like a reverse Hitler stash. Uh, it's that, on the wrong lip. Yeah, that would make it funnier, though. Yeah, I just think it's uh, shading of shadows. i tell you, this is a guy. Just because the person has long hair doesn't mean it's well, not a guy. This looks to me like it's more of like a mother figure. Oh, so fathers can't be loving and caring for children? Oh, God, it's Mallow. Yeah, they could be. But Look at those demon eyes. Yeah, he can't be trusted, that is for sure. I'm convinced. I'm telling you. I don't feel like they would have gave a woman such a prominent nose either. Have you seen some of the characters? Yeah, all right, I'll take it back. This game... Everybody's weird in some way. You'll find, I think her name may be Teresa or something like that. <laughs> You're sure it's a woman? I don't know. I look, don't... look, he's got, she, he has chest muscles. There's a sailor. He just crab walked. Right. Okay, I'm almost sure that, that might be hair on his lower lip. Okay, it might be. It I just want to point out the fact that even even his eyebrows are curly haired. Why would he do that? <laughs> Uh oh. Father. That little kid just said when father instructed me, I know you saw that. It's it's a man. I yeah, knew it. But you no, you said it was a woman. Yep, yeah, but how you know it's talking about that person? Because Barnes is trying to open the cellar and the little boy closed the cellar for the other person. So that's a boy too. They're all men in this town. There's no women in this town. Yes, there is. There's bound to be. I think she's Pocahontas still. Well, Midna's in town. She's a woman. Uh, Beth is in town. She's a woman. The kids. A couple well, of girls. Well, Beth is the only girl. Oh, yeah. And Link's girlfriend. But she's not here right now. I don't know what happened to her. Well, they carried the pretty one off and left the other ones behind. That is sexist. I'm not the one who made it that way. It's the truth. They carried her off. Oh, I didn't say you were sexist. I'm saying that the pig men that carried her off were sexist. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Well, could be. You, it could be she was the biggest, and if they were going to eat one of them, you'd want to eat the biggest. Yeah. More to go around, I reckon. Yeah. All right, we got to light candles to get into the basement. I got it. My lonely hero. I'm a baton man. Dun, 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 I, think dun, dun, dun. I ain't worried about it. 
the sun is still can get. Well, if it burns up, then we'll just have to start over. Oh no, this is attempt 47. <laughs> 63. I'm just going to the basement. I'll make sure it's safe for you guys in here. They're probably wondering, how the hell do these torches get lit all of a sudden? Oh man, they're, woo, they're everywhere. What do I do? Yeah, take them out of here. Yep, there's three guys. Now we're short three more. Oh, heart. I needed that. No, no, no. Just you minus didn't. left it. Oh, look at this. It's an owl statue. It looks suspicious to me. Yeah, it does look really <laughs> out of place oh, man, in this place. It's definitely hollow behind it. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. It's definitely some kind of corridor behind the owl. How about that? How, How about, about what? You know, it would have took a big mole to dig a hole that big. It wasn't dug by a mole. It's man-made. It's got scaffolding in it. Only part of the way. So you're saying a human dug half the hole and a mole dug the rest of it. I'm saying that... It's possible. Oh, uh, well, there's a whale, so maybe it was human-made. I'm telling you, see? Now we're in the graveyard. Graveyards are always fun. Especially in Ocarina of Time. What's the man's name? Walking? Flat and sharp. Oh, Dompe. Yeah. Dompe is always pretty cool. What's the point of pushing that gravestone? Nothing now, I guess. Yeah, I, I like Dompe pretty good. That kid, though. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. He will bug the hell out of you. Don't do that. Don't touch that. Mr. Dompe will be mad. But when Dompe's out, he don't care. He's like 84 years old. He don't care crap about nothing. Now, what am I supposed to be doing here? I'll be finding something, I'm sure. I'm gonna read that stone. Nope. Nope. No, I can't even read it right now. Nope. I don't do nothing. Well, maybe I should just leave this area and come back when I'm Link. Graveyard's in rough shape, i tell you that much. Yeah, it definitely hasn't been attended to for a while. Now the place is falling apart, tombstones are all... Or maybe there just hasn't been any recent deaths. Alright, now i got to be completely honest with you. I have no idea where to get these boats. If you pull up your whole map for a second. Okay, that one's all off right. that trail. Yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. We're good. Just go up this way on the side. Oh, yep, I ran up the wall a second. Well, hopefully, you can get us up there, Midna. Because I can't get it for myself. Because I'm a <laughs> yeah. wolf, I can't climb. Definitely. If you can't do it, nobody can. No, I don't want a warp. Is she crazy? Uh, I hit the wrong button. I meant to uh, turn on sense so I can see this guy. Hey, look at that. It's a Goron. He's got nipple guards, a diaper. He's ready to go. For real. You know what Gorons most of the time mean, right? Death Mountain, Lava Volcano, Unpleasantness. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say heat, but yeah, definitely. Volcanoes, lava. All that shenanigans. Yeah. You're no, gonna, no, no. You're going to have to take the bats out. Uh, I don't need to take the bats out, but I will for you. Uh. Yeah, see, they keep knocking you down. They're irritating, man. They're, they're the worst enemies in Zelda. No. Yes, no, they are. No, 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 no. Just 20 minutes ago, well, it feels like 20 minutes ago. It was more like four hours ago. You were talking about how Skulltolas were the worst enemies in the game. Oh, now those now, are pretty rough, too. Now, that's wrong, too. I'll tell you the worst enemies in the game. You're not going to like it. You're not going to like it at all. You're not going to like, like, what I've got to say. What's uh Like likes. 
Uh oh. Here's the wolf's version of the ocarina. It's a howling stone. I did it right? I wasn't even paying attention. I gotta, uh. Okay. I had to do it long on each one. I just thought you had to pass through that section in that section. Look at this. This is majestic. Yeah. Hell, that. Here we go. That was horrible. I don't know how that counted. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but I was just freaking out a little bit. He's just gonna sit here and whimper at the moon and howl a little bit and have a little bit of fun. Yeah. He looks like it he's... It sounds like he's on Zodal's That wolf up there looks oh, like he's up there in years. Yeah, that wolf there definitely looks older. He, he's got a little white on him. That's for yeah. sure. His mane has done grew out pretty long. Take a sword and find me. Where are you going? You're here now, dude. Just teach me the techniques while you're here. Well, he can't because you got to have a sword. Well, if he can turn into a human, he can turn me into a human. It's a dream. I'm no, just saying. No. So it's reality. He comes to reality and shows you. I feel like he takes you to a dream world when he does it. Oh, yeah, I feel like I've missed one of the uh, bugs. No. Yeah, there's one there, one there. There's... There's one that's back there, in, down there. What, what was that? Hold on. You didn't see that? Ah! Oh. I got. It. See, I knew I missed one. Or almost missed one, rather. I was kind of tripping about the white dot that's back in town. It was a bigger white dot, but why was up there? That's confusing. What? Right there. See? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It must be some sort of objective thing. Or, I don't like actually. Do. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out in a little bit when we go back to town. Uh, Are you going to get hit by every one of those? Uh, I'm going to try to. It's, I'm going for the record. Well, looks like we found Death Mountain. Oh, I knew it. It's always Death Mountain. You think the Gorons could live in a more pleasant place? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. We got four guys down here. Well, they definitely like the heat. Well, they eat rocks, man. I probably just messed that up bad. Yeah, and they say, well, there's four of them. But I think you gotta kill that one over there and uh, yeah, then go over here first. This is definitely the one you want to kill first. You can even kill two and then get the other two together. Well, kill them. these guys are together anyway. So I can probably get all three of these, no problem. Like that. that was pretty handy. It's just that one guy, I forgot that he was like hidden behind a barrier. You only have to have this kind of fight several times in the game. Yeah, I know. Every time you do it, you get that square in the sky, and it's actually a warp point with Midna. Yeah. So anything you need to open up a new warp point, it does those fights for you. Now, where was I? There's a bug. I see. Dude. I took damage when I did that earlier. Well, that's because you suck. But I actually hit the bug. You, I think you just hit below him and scared him off the wall. Well, if I'd have hit him, he'd have been dead. If you'd have that's hit him, what I thought. Dead. I did hit him. That's why I took damage. Mm, yeah. Pfft. Poppy cop. Uh, everybody's seen it. it. It's recorded. Yeah. Well, you know where it's at to watch it, so you know you're wrong. No. You know, you could just admit you're wrong, so we wouldn't have to go through this trouble. Well, you need to climb up back there. It's not this way? That's the way you came. Hmm. I thought there'd be like be a ledge or something to walk around. It's my fault. My bad. I'm wrong. I admit it. See how easy that was? Mm-hmm. 
Because we can't climb up there. You're not Link. Men will help you out, though. Yeah. Just don't hit the steam, whatever you do. I couldn't go through another session of that. Well, you're going to stop and look at the nipples. Oh, oh God. No. no. No, no, no. So much for nipples. I don't care about the Goron's nipples. Not, not when smoldering hot rocks are falling from the sky. I'm trying to dig this. Ah, yeah. Well, where, where's the bug? I think it's over here in the barrel. No, because it'll most of the time give you a yellow uh, arrow cursor thing. I guess I got to go this way here. Right here. Yeah. Alright, I did it. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I got it. Told you I was up. Told you I had it. God, these girls are everywhere. Well, this is where they live. Well, they ain't all gonna hang out outside. I like how the people in the town, they are uh, all inside cowering in fear and the Gorons are just sitting outside like, hey, what the hell we're, getting going on? we're getting attacked by a bunch of random enemies and monsters and stuff, but I got stuff I gotta do. I ain't got time to be sitting inside. They're just so chill and casual. Yeah, I know. No, I didn't mean to talk to you. No, I didn't mean to warp. I pick up that horn. Yeah, too late. I don't need that hard. I'm trying to find the bug. Yeah, but you're down one and a half. I figured it would help. Yeah, I don't need it. I think it was up there on the ledge you just fell off of. No, I'm like standing where it's supposed to be on the map. Well, if you look above you, maybe the ledge over laps over where you're standing. Here, I'll get that heart for you. Does that make you happy? Yeah, it makes it look a little better. There he is. Where'd he come from? I don't know, but I know where he's going. In my belly. Alrighty then. So that does it for all the light orbs. Now let's see what kind of spirit creature it is this time. We can get to some real fun now. Alright, what's your guess? A horse. Like a unicorn. Uh, a cat. Flying Pegasus. No, or a bird. A bird or a cat. It won't be a cat. It's got to be a cat or a bird. I don't want to say a bear or a pegasus, unicorn thing. A mystical horse, let's say that. Oh, I think it's going to have wings, whatever it is. Something like a bird cat, a cat bird. A, myth a mythical cat. Come on, baby. Oh, it's got wings. Come That's on, a butterfly. Cat. A phoenix. Well, it's not a cat bird, but... It doesn't look. It doesn't look much like a bird either. It's like a bird or free. Looks like that monkey, but he's got wings now. He That's evolved. Weird. He's a Pokemon. He evolved into, <laughs> yeah. a, into a flying type. My name is Elden. I am one of the white spirits of Hyrule. Okay. I am the spirit that guards these lands. Okay, See, that's why I don't narrate. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Now we can definitely see why we are not narrating. I'm sure I would probably sound even worse, so I wouldn't even suggest that. Oh, man. Look at this. What's wrong with his face? He's kind of got, like, some glowy leopard skin. He's got leprosy. His face is, his face is falling off. <laughs> Damn. That wasn't even that funny. I don't <laughs> know why I just busted out laughing. Oh, of course, Death Mountain is draped in shadow and cursed by evil. When is it not draped in shadow and cursed by evil? Yeah, it is called Death Mountain for a reason. I know. Like I said a little bit ago, the Gorons can live in a more pleasant place, but no, they want to live in the mouth of hell. Yeah, that's about the sound of it. Well, I mean, they're not but, afraid of anybody, so... Uh, well, in Ocarina of Time, they said that the most hardy rocks come from the heart of the volcano. Yeah, the most delicious rocks come from yeah. the worst places. Oh, look at old Colin. He's excited to see us. Oh, oh. and he's down for the count. Mallow's like, look, punk, I'm just going to walk past you casually. <laughs> they could have at least helped him up. I know Mallow didn't even think about it. Everybody else didn't even notice. I don't think he has nothing to do with any of them, really. Look how pissed off he looks. He's yeah. not happy Link came to save him. 
He was, he was thinking about selling to other kids on the black market for a quick rupee profit. Yeah. <laughs> he better be selling the kids off for his uh, freedom. Which I'm guessing that Pocahontas has got him out of trouble for now. This this dude's mouth is like Renato. most of his face. Yeah, that is not Teresa at all. It's Renato. <laughs> I think her name's <laughs> Teresa or something. I just kind of made that up. Well, this guy, it's Bert. He's from uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. And this is Luda. Uh, short for Ludacris. Oh, oh, that's a girl. That's his daughter, Luda. See, I thought it was a boy. Uh, I guess we were both wrong. You were wrong and I was wrong. <clears throat> Mr. Renato found him. He's a shaman. Did you know that? Yeah, well, shaman, shaman, whatever, depends on where you're from, I guess. Shaman. I say shaman. I prefer people say shaman, I don't like when people pronounce it that way. Kind of like vase and vase. Yeah, I don't know what a vase is. <laughs> I don't either. I'm not rich enough to know what a vase is. I have heard tell of vases before, though. Yeah, I've seen one or two of them. He, uh, man... <laughs> Mallow, he got a lot to say. What happened to Barnes? Did he just run off? He probably went to go hide somewhere. Barnes is a pretty good guy, though. He helps you out later on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can even do it after this cutscene. I don't know. I don't know. I think you gotta make friends with the Gorons again yeah, because he, right now I don't know how the Gorons are angry. Yeah, you might have to because he can't get his materials up in his shop until you make friends with the Gorons again. Well, somebody kind of blew up his house. I'm not going to mention any names, but it, it must was, have been them monsters. Yeah, it was monsters. It wasn't Wolf Link at all. Nope. We had nothing to do with it. Didn't start a fire. Well, the fire was already lit. Yeah, this is in a different place. We just moved it. Yeah. So it's definitely not our fault. Well, who's trying to put it in a fireplace where it belonged? Then the monsters had to come out of there and tear the house down. Well, guys, uh, that's all the time we got for the day. But we'll see you guys again soon. Have a good one.